So this is the email and SMS marketing tool called Omnisend, which is built for e-commerce businesses. So looking at Omnisend's pricing page, you can see they have a forever free tier. And the free tier is actually really good since it allows you to access almost all of its features. So aside from the free plan, they also have two paid plans, so the pro plan and the standard plan. And good to know, Omnisend's paid plan, so the pro and standard plan, are also relatively cheap compared to another e-commerce email marketing tool called Klaviyo. So for example, here you can see a graph I created where we compare Klaviyo's email marketing prices with Omnisense email marketing prices. And as you can see, so Omnisent is the red bars and Klaviyo is the blue bars. So in the horizontal axis, you can see the number of subscribers. And as you can see, it can save you a few hundred dollars every single month if you were to choose for Omnisent in terms of pricing. So here we got another graph and here I included the SMS credits as well. So the horizontal axis, as you can see, means thousand subscribers and thousand SMS credits. So for up to 20,000 subscribers, you save a few hundred dollars if you were to choose Omnisend instead of Klaviyo. So Omnisend are the red bars over here. So up to 100,000 subscribers, you save more than $700 monthly if you were to choose Omnisend. So if you've never used Omnisend before but want to learn how to set it up properly, you're in the right place here. So I've spent a lot of hours inside the Omnisend app and I'm going to show you how to use all of its core features. So the campaigns, the automations, the forms, the audience builders, the reports, etc. So by the end, you have an email marketing machine, Omnisend, up and running for your e-commerce business. So whenever you're ready to take your first step inside Omnisend, hit the subscribe button of my YouTube channel so you don't miss any next videos. And let's begin. So the first step is to sign up for Omnisend. So to sign up for a free Omnisend account, use this link you can see over here, or use the link down below in the description, or you can also just visit this link over here. So creatorag.com slash Omnisend. And while creating these Omnisend tutorial videos, I contacted Omnisend for a discount to share with you guys. So I was able to get you guys 15% discount if you decide to sign up for the paid plan in the future. So first go to this link over here, creatorag.com slash Omnisend. And then whenever you're ready to sign up for a paid plan, use this discount code creator egg and then you get 15 percent off for the first three months and if you've used my omnisend link to sign up so creatorag.com slash omnisend please let me know down below and in the comments or send me an email because i personally want to thank you because using my link will directly help me creating these videos because i get a little referral fee from omnisend if you decide to sign up for a paid plan using my link. So when you've used my link, you'll see this page. So this page might look a little bit different in the future if they change some elements on the page. But anyway, there should be a button start free or at the top right corner, start free. So let's click on start free. So to sign up, I'm gonna use the sign up with email. If you have a Shopify account that you want to integrate with Omnisend later, I suggest you use the sign up with Shopify option. But in this case, we're gonna sign up with email. So we enter our email address, enter a password. Do you have an e-commerce business? Yes, I agree. And then I'm gonna click on sign up. So now we received an email and we need to click on the confirmation link. So this is the confirmation email, complete your registration. Click to verify the email address. I'm gonna click on this button. So now we have to enter a few more details. So our first name, last name, the name of our business, our website, whether we came from a different email marketing software program, I'm gonna choose other, and then which platform are you using for your online store? I'm gonna choose Shopify. So I'm gonna click on continue. So then we need to enter our physical address and whenever you've done that, you're gonna click on continue to Omnisend. So as you can see, the first thing on the dashboard over here 
is the connect to Shopify option. And that is because I chose Shopify as my e-commerce platform. If you did choose another platform like uh, WooCommerce, for example, you'll probably have a different screen over here to connect your OmniSend account with WooCommerce. As you can see over here, a few other integrations. They have plenty of other integrations, as you can see over here, if you don't have Shopify. So before I'm going to show you around in OmniSense dashboard to give you a little sneak peek of what it can do, I'm going to advise you to first connect it to your e-commerce platform. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Shopify. So I'm going to click on connect to Shopify. It'll then open OmniSense app on the Shopify app store. I'm going to click on open the app. And whenever you click on that button, you'll automatically be signed in into your Shopify account if you're already signed in, of course. In my case, it says update because I already installed the OmniSend app in my Shopify account. If you haven't done that yet, it'll probably say something like install. So you have to do that before we continue with the tutorial. So I'm going to close this tab right now. It should be really easy to install the OmniSend app into your Shopify dashboard. So I'm going to close this right now. So I'm now back in my OmniSend dashboard. And if you go to the top right corner over here and you scroll down and you're going to go to connected store and you're going to click on it, you get this page over here and here you can see the connected store. So if you have properly set up the integration between your e-commerce store with OmniSend, you'll see something like this. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to quickly touch on several things inside OmniSend so you get a better understanding of where things are, how you can work with it and what its different features are. So it's basically a rundown of their core features and where you can find the most important stuff inside your OmniSend dashboard. So basically a dashboard overview. So the first thing, a handy thing to note is that every tier has access to the chat feature. So if you click on this icon over here, it pops up the chat window over here where you can send a message to one of their customer support employees. So on OmniSense website, they promote 24 seven live chat functionality, which is really good, of course, also for free plan users. So that's really nice when you're setting up your accounts. So a few tips when contacting their support. So the first thing you should know is that at first you're talking to an AI basically. And when you want to speak to a real person, you have to say that you want to speak to a real person. So for example, you have to say contact support. As you can see, because I typed contact support, it'll now redirect me to one of their employees so I can talk to a real person. So then next up, let's have a look at some account settings. So you're going to go to top right corner over here, and then you're going to go to store settings. And here you can see brand assets. So here you can manage your logo, colors and fonts and social media links. So whenever you create a new newsletter inside your OmniSend dashboard, it'll automatically add your logo and use the right colors, use the correct fonts and the correct social media links which is really handy, of course, so you won't have to change that every single time when you're creating a new email. So you're going to click on manage brand assets. And over here, you can change the colors, the fonts and social media links, etc. Then if you're curious about your current plan, you can see that at the pricing plan here, you can see what pricing plan you're on. So I'm using the pro plan at the moment. Then if you go to SMS pricing, here you can see the different prices you pay for every SMS you send. So as you can see some countries, like for example, if you send an SMS to Afghanistan, it is way more expensive than for example, the United States, as you can see. So the United States is only one or two cents in comparison to more than three cents for Afghanistan. So keep that in mind. Then if you go to email and then send the domains, here you can see the send the domain, so as you may or may not know already, since February 1, 2024, so this year, so Google and Yahoo, who basically required us as email marketers to verify our domain. So with SPF, DKIM and DMARC, whenever you want to send an email with an email marketing tool. And by the way, as you can see right now, we just received a support message from the support employee. So I contacted them on 835, as you can see. And then five minutes later, right now, I'm speaking to a support employee. So if you aren't sure how to do this, how to verify your domain, part three of this OmniSend tutorial is about email authentication, where I show you step by step how to set that up. So next up, we have languages and translation. So if English isn't the language you're using inside your business on your website, etc., you might want to change it to that language you're looking for. So they have a pretty long list of different 
languages and you can also change it over here if you aren't satisfied with the translation. So then over here we have the currency formats. So in my case, this would be incorrect because the comma in normally in the Netherlands, how we write it, this would not be a comma. So you can click on this pencil icon and you can change the currency format. So for me, it would be this one over here or this one over here. So I probably would go with this one. So I'm gonna click on save. Then over here we have templates. So if you created a template yourself for a newsletter, you can import one over here. So import HTML or paste the code here. And you can also upload an HTML file. Then we have the Omnisend apps. So Omnisend has a lot of different integrations. So for example, if you're looking for a WordPress integration, they have plenty of different WordPress integrations available. So next up, let's have a look at automations, which is obviously a really important part of an e-commerce business. So in this Omnisend tutorial, I will showcase the most important e-commerce automations you have to create as an e-commerce business. So for example, the welcome series. So let's have a quick look at the welcome series. So the most common use case for an e-commerce business is that you share a discount code with the ones that sign up for your email list. And that is this particular welcome series. So we have the trigger for the sign up. We're selecting the sign up form, which is the pop up with the discount code. And then they start the welcome series. So as you can see, we have email number one, which shares the discount code. You're going to wait for one day. We got email number two, etc. And in part seven of my Omnisend tutorial, I'm gonna showcase everything about the welcome email flow. So as you can see over here, we have the timestamps. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to set up that welcome flow. But of course, there are many more important e-commerce flows, e-commerce workflows, e-commerce automations, whatever you wanna call it. And you want to make sure to set up all those automations for your e-commerce business. So for example, we have the abandoned cart. And if you scroll down in the description over here, you can find the part where I showcase how to set up that particular workflow. Then we have the abandoned and checkout, which is a really important one. We have the post purchase email flow. We have the win back campaign, the sunset flow. Basically there are out of the top of my head, eight important e-commerce automations you have to set up. And I'm gonna show you exactly for every single one of them how to do that inside this Omnisend tutorial. So then of course we have the forms. So let's have a quick look at the forms we created. So as you can see, we created two separate versions. So one for desktop and one for mobile. That's one quick tip I wanna give you whenever you're creating a form, make sure to create two separate versions for desktop and mobile so you can tweak one another. So here you can see the form we created inside Omnisend. And the cool thing with Omnisend is that you can create different steps. So here we can see step one. So do you want 10% off your first order? So instead of immediately showing an input field where they need to input their email address, you're gonna allow your website visitor to make a decision. Yes, get 10% off or no thanks. And probably most of them are gonna click on yes, get 10% off because they don't see that input field immediately. So let's say they click on yes, get 10% off. You're gonna go to step two and then you need to enter your email address. So this is one of the best practices for getting a higher conversion rate on your pop-ups. And I'm sharing many more of those tips in part five of my own tutorial specifically where I talk about pop-ups Then over here if you go to audience here you can see your contact list and over here you can add new contacts so for example you can add a single contact probably most of you are gonna import contacts from a file or if you're coming from a different email marketing tool like MailChimp or Klaviyo Omniset made it easy for you to import those contacts into your Omnisend account then over here you can create segments inside your Omnisend account and as you can see I created a few segments over here which we'll get to later on in this tutorial so one example is so if we click on this so currently in flow exclude from newsletter so for example the ones that are in your welcome flow in your welcome email series you might don't want to send them weekly newsletters as well maybe you want to first let them finish the welcome series and then after they finish that welcome series you want to add them to your weekly newsletter right so in the part where i talk about the welcome email series of this omnisend tutorial i explain how to create this segment and how that works specifically then we have the reports tab inside omnisend and where you can filter on campaigns workflows or forms if you're on the pro plan you also have access to the advanced report step if you aren't on the pro plan you don't have access to this one over here but this one is pretty good because now you can also create a custom range so for example you want to have the data of the last month so let's say i'm gonna say june the entire month of june and i can also filter on the different channels so for example i only want to see the email channel 
channel. I'm going to say on filter results. And then you will be able to see how many campaigns you sent, what the open rate is, etc. The revenue per order. And what is really important that you can filter on campaigns and workflows because you want to see how your campaigns are performing and you want to see how your workflows are performing. You don't want to mix that data. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can also see the performance of the different segments you have. Most open campaigns, most click campaigns. And then if you go to workflows, you basically have the same options. You can also select the custom rage, which is really important. There are many email marketing tools that don't have this option, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. Then you can also filter again. So email or SMS or the push channel. You can select a specific workflow if you want to see that particular workflow. But if you just want to have all the data in one place, this is the report you're going to need. So again, the workflows with the most revenue, the workflows with the highest conversion rates, highest open rates, click through rates, highest revenue per message sent. So the advanced report page is pretty good in my opinion. Then over here, we have the deliverability. And what is too bad is that we cannot filter on the custom days range. For example, if I just want to see what the performance is of the last month, I cannot do that. So that's too bad. Would have been better if we had that same option as we have in the advanced reports page where we can just select a custom date range but sadly, that's not possible over here. So that's basically a quick rundown of OmniSense core features and its dashboard. But of course, we're not done yet. There are many more parts in this OmniSense tutorial. So hopefully I see you in part two of this OmniSense tutorial. So if you have any questions or suggestions for a new video I should add to this OmniSense tutorial series, please let me know down below in the comments. So again, hopefully I see you in part two of this OmniSense tutorial.